Hello. Just a, a little tip for people if you are removing the shell from your model train engine. Uh, this could apply to Lionel, maybe MTH, uh, maybe several of the other companies. It could apply even to um, other gauges and scales other than O and O27, maybe G gauge, uh, HO, S, who knows, but if, if you have uh, engine like this uh, line L80 this is an actually an 8158 with an 8159 shell on it because this one has an engine or a motor inside but as you can see here the painted handrails are really close to the side of the cab right there same thing on the other side and when you take the screws out of the ends of the shell, screws are on each end, and you lift up this cab, if you're not careful, you're going to scratch the side of the cab shell when you lift it up, because these metal side rails can scra scratch up the cab. So, get some uh, cardstock, maybe from the back of a uh, eight and a half by eleven paper notepad. Cut out some of this. Slip it in between the metal handrails on the side. Do it on the other side too. Might have to press them back a little bit and. remove the screws. Another thing to know is if you have a new or fairly new model train engine that's still under warranty, you might be wo voiding the warranty by taking the screws out that hold the engine shell. So check with your dealer or check with a manufacturer to see if that would doing that would void your warranty. I see this one. I slipped it in and went on the outside. So you really gotta watch what you're doing here. If I had two cameras, I get switched to the other side, but anyway, we're stuck with the iPhone 7 for now. So, I got two of these engines. One of my cousins grew up in Duluth, and Duluth, Minnesota, and we would uh, go up and visit him and my aunt and my uncle. And it was really neat to see the Duluth, Misabi, and Iron Range Railroad locomotives. Okay there, okay there, We're slipping it up, pull it up, there, there we go. Uh, some engines, well if, if there's a light inside, got to be careful, some engines will have a light up here, some engines will have a speaker in here. Uh, I have a newer um, Lionel 1804 Alaska. I think it's a GP7 locomotive, which is much newer than this one, and ha it has sound and uh, a lot more things under the hood than this one does. Uh, you have to be more careful with the newer locomotives when you remove the cab because there will be more wires, there could be a speaker or two. Uh, the, some of the newer diesel engines have um, smoke units on it, on them. Uh, several things to consider when you're doing that. 
And uh, this can get a little bit more involved when you're putting the engine shell back on because when you're putting your, your engine shell back on, you don't want to pinch any of the wires between the shell and the engine frame. So let's see. I think this is one of the engines I was going to. I was going to try and wire wire up to both of my 8158 engines. Here, let's pull the other one up. I was going to try and wire them up to um, run off of one reverse unit, but uh, that'll be for a different video. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Check my other videos, and um, have a nice day. Thanks. Bye.